Okay, some tips for using IMSMAP360. Remember your wheel mouse. Wheel in, wheel out, wherever the cursor is when you wheel in, it zooms into that location or zooms out from that location. Double middle click does a zoom extents. This little button here lets you change between the different built-in user modes. The button next to it lets you switch between different drawings that you have open. Remember that escape is your friend and if you ever get into um, situations where it's you, in this case here I just clicked and to select objects you can do a, it's called a window crossing and you'll see when I click again all of these objects have been selected. And whenever that happens, remember escape is your friend. Press escape and it's like hitting cancel. It just cancels out of whatever command you're in. And even if you accidentally start a command, such as in this case here the line command, you can just hit escape to cancel it. So the easiest way I remember is just escapes your friend. For selecting objects, just remember left click, the grip markers appear, and then you can use those grip markers to edit that object. Your undo options are right here at the top, so you can undo that edit if you need to. Talking about selecting objects, so you can single click, you can draw a window, so you go left click, move to the right, left click, now that object's been selected. When you do a window to the right, only objects contained entirely within the window will be selected. So in this example here, if you look at this text down here at the bottom, even though the window is not entirely going around the text, it's not going to select it. But if instead I do a crossing window, so it's roughly the same size as the previous window did, the only difference is I'm going to the left now. Uh, you'll see anything inside the window or touching the edge of the window will be selected and you'll see this text now is selected. I'm going to cancel by hitting escape, escapes your friend. Click on an object to see what layer it's on, so just single click. If you watch right here it'll tell you what layer you've just selected, so that's the topography layer. You can load additional options on a ribbon if you want by just right clicking and selecting the tab you want to show such as the point cloud tab. In version 1 of our software these settings are not uh, not saved into the built-in workspaces but you can save these workspaces under a new name if you want by just using the workspace command and you just type that in at the command line workspace. This is your home button. This is where you can create a new scene, open a scene, save, print from here, close the current drawing, or exit out of the program and completely. Get in the habit of pressing save. Uh, there is a built-in timer that will save your drawing um, and create a, a backup of it every 30 minutes is the default. You can change that uh, in the advanced options if you need to. Help file is right here just by pressing the help button. And double clicking on an object brings up the properties dialog. This is very useful. Also very useful in the properties dialog is if you select multiple entities, it'll list them all in the list here and you can choose which entity you want to edit. So let's say for uh, the polylines, if I select that, anything I change in here is only going to affect the three 3D, the three three D polylines that are selected. If you want to close property dialogs, just do that and hit escape. And those are some user tips that uh, most new users need to know when they first start using IMS Map three sixty.